Welcome. In this video, we're going to be doing a review of the process for setting up function points integration with QuickBooks Online. Before you get started, you'll want to make sure that you have QuickBooks Online open in the same browser as your function point system in a separate tab. We'll start by changing the accounting package in function points office preferences. We can do this by going into the admin section under system setup and office preferences. Here we can choose to edit details and change the accounting package to Integrated QuickBooks Online. When you click Submit, the page will automatically refresh and an option will appear to connect with QuickBooks. Select the button that says Connect to QuickBooks and you will then be asked to authorize the sync. Click the button that says Authorize and this will sync your function point system with QuickBooks Online. Once that sync process is completed, Choose Close Window, and then click Next Setup Integration. You will then be brought to the General Preferences tab of the Setup QuickBooks Integration page. The General Preferences will be filled in for you automatically, and we do not recommend making any changes here. If you'd like to make any changes to your General Preferences, please speak with our support team. Otherwise, simply click Save, and you can move on to the Accounts Receivable tab. Your Function Point AR account should automatically be mapped to your QuickBooks AR account. Simply click Save and then move on to the Accounts Payable tab. This should also be mapped for you automatically. Again, simply click Save and you can then move on to the Services tab. You'll notice that there's a tab called Service Groups that is grayed out. There is an option to map your function point service groups to QuickBooks Online, but this is typically not necessary. If you'd like to map your function point service groups to QuickBooks Online, please speak with our support team. The Services tab consists of three sub-tabs, Internal Services, External Expenses, and Internal Expenses. Each of your function point internal services need to be mapped to a corresponding QuickBooks income item. In any case of an exact match, that mapping will be done automatically. If there is not an exact match, you will need to manually choose the QuickBooks Income item that you would like to map to the Function Point Internal Service. Make sure that all these fields are filled in, and then click Save. You can then move on to the External Expenses tab. Function Point External Expenses are mapped to QuickBooks Income items for the purpose of billing your client and also to QuickBooks Cost of Goods Sold accounts for the purpose of paying your vendors. Like the internal services, in any case of an exact match, that mapping will be done automatically. If there is not an exact match, you will need to choose the appropriate QuickBooks Income item to map to the function point external expense. You will then need to choose the appropriate Cost of Goods Sold account to map to the external expense as well. Make sure that all these fields are filled in, and once they are, click Save, and you can then move on to the Internal Expenses tab. Like the others, Function Point Internal Expenses are mapped to QuickBooks Income Items. If no exact matches appear, select the appropriate income item that you would like to map to the Function Point Internal Expense. Make sure that all these fields are filled in, and then click Save. You can then move on to the Taxes tab. If you include taxes on the invoices you send to your clients, and those taxes are set up in Function Point, you will see those listed here. They should also be mapped automatically. If they're not, you can manually map them to the appropriate QuickBooks tax codes. Click Save, and you can then move on to External Expense Taxes. This is applicable if you receive invoices from your vendors that have taxes on them. If those taxes are set up in Function Point, you will see them listed here as well. And just like before, that mapping should be automatic to the appropriate QuickBooks account. If it's not, manually set up the mapping and click Save. The last tab is mandatory even if you do not have any taxes in your Function Point system. You'll need to make sure that no taxes in Function Point is mapped to the No Tax item in QuickBooks Online. Make sure that field is filled in and then click Save. 
you can then move on to the payment terms. Any payment terms you have set up in Function Point will be listed here. You can then map those to the appropriate QuickBooks payment terms. Make sure that these fields are filled in accurately and then click Save. You'll want to do the same with your expense payment terms as well. Map these appropriately and then click Save. We can then move on to the payment methods. Just like the terms, make sure that these are mapped appropriately and then click Save. Once you've gone through each of these tabs and filled in every available field and saved it, you've successfully set up the function point integration with QuickBooks Online. We can now test it out and make sure that it's working. I have an invoice that I've created already for the purpose of this test, and I'm going to navigate to that invoice's details page. On the invoice details page, I'll find a button that says export invoice. Click on this button and you will notice the status move to exported. This means that you've successfully exported the invoice to QuickBooks. Let's check to make sure that it's there. This is an invoice for $7,000 for a job called dealership brochure for a client called North Shore Auto Group. If I go into my QuickBooks online system and select customers, I should find a job called dealership brochure with an invoice for $7,000. And it is for my client North Shore Auto Group. If I select the invoice, I can see its details including the date, balance, total, and status. And we've now confirmed that we fully set up the integration between QuickBooks Online and your Function Point system. That concludes this video on setting up Function Points integration with QuickBooks Online. Please continue checking out more of our videos for more helpful information on using Function Point.